Hey guys, we're here with author Sean Paulet or Paulette. How are you doing, sir? You alright? Yeah, good man. How are you? Not too bad, thank you very much. So, um, you, you're one of the authors of XCT, the yes. Extreme Champion Tournament. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so it's uh, based in the year 2069 where um, the UFC has evolved back to gladiatorial fighting. Uh, and the way they get around that is they clone different historical figures. So um, our hero in the series is Spartacus, but you've got like Ragnar Lothbrok out of Vikings, Leonidas out of the 300, um, a Minotaur from Greek mythology, and this organization makes them fight off against each other. So uh, a lot of fun, a lot of action, and all that type of stuff. So. That's amazing. It's, it's, it's quite a unique concept. How, how, where did the idea come from? I'm a massive fan of the Spartacus TV series, um, and I'm a big fan of the UFC. So one night after watching the final episode of Spartacus, um, the next day was a uh, John Bones Jones fight. And I was like, oh man, I wonder like what it would look like if Spartacus ever had to fight, you know, someone from this time. And then the idea kind of like spiraled from there. And um, one morning at about three o'clock, I jumped up and went, jotted down all these different ideas. And that's where this spawned from. So, yeah. And so is, is it still currently ongoing or is it, is it sort of finished now? Um, so no, so it's ongoing. So we've got four out of the moment with the fifth one coming out in about two months. Um, so we run a Kickstarter each time that we um, do it. Um, and that's only for the printing side of things. Um, and it also gives um, multiple people that have backed it a, a chance to get extra rewards and stuff that um, you don't get at shows like this type of stuff. So yeah. That's fantastic. And you're also involved with the comics to movies the poster range we've got here. Yep. Um, I can see there's lots of half and half. Can you tell me a little bit about, about that as well? Yeah, so I represent uh, 16 different artists all around Australia. And I came up with a concept of like a heroes versus villains um, series. Uh, we started off with the Batman Joker and it uh, kind of spiraled from, from there. And uh, the more I did these shows, the more artists I had come to me. And uh, we started off with three artists and nine prints. Uh, and now we're up to 16 artists. And we've got about 140 different limited, limited edition prints. So. Um, it's been really good. Um, from there, we've kind of branched out to do convention exclusives and everything like that as well. So you actually mentioned to me earlier on, you've gone overseas. So what type of conventions have you been through in what other countries? Yeah, so we've been um, to four different countries. We've been to New Zealand, um, uh, Paris in, in France, uh, America in Canada. Um, in France and um, America, we've done a Spartacus convention. So that was around the comic book series. Uh, we've also in America and Canada did um, exclusive for their event. So we used the comic book as a Comic Con exclusive. So uh, it's the first time they've ever used an independent comic book to do that. Um, usually they use like The Walking Dead or all those type of ones. So uh, we sold 500 comics at one show, which was uh, phenomenal. So yeah. So how, how are you finding the energy here at uh, Comic Con today? Uh, it's been really good actually. It's been the first time I've ever been this close to the, the entrance. So uh, it's been really good to see everyone coming in, uh, really, you know, energetic and everything like that. But also seeing them on the way out, uh, you know, with their hands full of, of swag and everything. So, um, and it's a great, great chance to, to you know, get a, get a couple of uh, sales as well. So. Well, close to the entrance here. <laughs> the entrance is right there. <laughs> That's fantastic. So. Um, when, you, when you're going through all these different pieces of art and, and comics that you've, you've done, have there been any inspiration? Like, have you thought about something and thought, let's do that? Yeah, definitely. Um, in regards to the art style, um, I'm not, a, not a, 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 I can't, an artist, so I don't know how to draw and everything, but I do know what I like visually. Um, so when I designed the series, um, Jim Lee, J. Scott Campbell, Humberto Ramos were the, the three type of art styles I really liked. Um, and uh, the guy that actually draws this did a series called Fanboys vs Zombies with Boom Studios. And um, I just happened to, to write to him thinking, oh look, you know, if he might be interested, um, you know, he might want to work with me. And he loved the concept and uh, yeah, he's signed on to do the first eight issues. Um, and then hopefully we can continue um, that arrangement um, in the future as well. So 
Um, and then from a riding style, uh, it's always been, you know, Chris Claremont, I'm a real 90s uh, fan. So yeah, I've always uh, liked his stuff as well. Fantastic. So um, in the future, have you got any, any sort of future plans coming up? Yeah, so um, in two weeks time, we've got a graphic novel coming out called Dead Man's Land. Uh, and that's based around um, enhanced Nazi werewolves where a group of paratroopers are stuck behind enemy lines and uh, they have to kind of uh, get uh, kill all these werewolves that the Nazis have uh, kind of created to win World War II. So um, it's a bit of a horror movie, it's uh, quite gritty, um, so we've got a Kickstarter for that uh, coming out. It's already completed, so again it's only for the printing um, and then that should be out uh, at the end of October. Well, Sean, thank you very much for your time, and uh, yeah, I look forward to reading some of these as well. Awesome, thanks, man. Thank you. Cheers.